Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pillars of Eternity Let's Play. And last time we returned to our stronghold to uh, assess our top floor of this building, which is also now being repaired, I believe. Uh, unless it's this building, which I don't think it is. Uh, it's the main keep that we started uh, repairing. Main keep. Oh, that's the Great Hall. Oh, that's uh, that's this area here. That's the main keep, right. So that will be complete and uh, what's the friggin' button again? Like S. Uh, that will be complete in a couple days. Two days, 25 hours. So we need to keep ourselves uh, distracted until then. Then we'll come back and check up on it, I believe. Uh... Journal! Alright, so this is our main quest, which we're not gonna focus on for the time being. Um, we will have to go to the Deerfaird Village at some point. But I want to go back to the older areas that we haven't really fully explored yet, and go back to Gilded Vale for a little bit, I believe. Uh, expert on Awakening Things in Defiance Bay. We could also go back to Defiance Bay for a little bit. I'm not really sure. Endless Paths. Uh, that is something I also want to do. We need Katanua. Eater to the Archives. Vengeance from the Grave. Uh, I wanted to do this one. That's because I actually figured out where that one is. Through playing uh, on another game. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to just focus on playing on this one so I don't like spoil myself while <laughs> recording this. So we're going to go back to Gilded Fail. That'll take how long? One day. Alright, that's fine. Then, probably come back a couple days later. Later. Ugh. Excuse me. There's probably still some things left to do here in Gilded Vale. And I know my mouse positioning is actually correspondent to what I'm doing in the game, in the videos. Um, in the game, for myself, it's working just fine like this. It looks correct. But for you, the mouse is probably further down than where it's actually pointing. For instance, now my mouse is over the attack button. But it's probably not that way for you guys. I don't know it, why it does that. I think it has it's some kind of bug with my recording software or something. I saw someone else has the same problem, but no one seems to have responded for a fix. Anyway. This house seems relevant for some reason. I'm gonna come up here. I don't know why they have like... It's interesting how they always have marked houses. It's like, there's gotta be something with them. Safer is used, folks. Power their abilities and can gain blah 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 blah. Who's this? This man and woman appear to have been in deep conversation, working at closing two bulging satchels. They move to embrace until the woman notices your approach and pauses her smile faltering a Gods little. Gods keep you. Can we help you? She looks to her companion, brows furring with confusion. Do you know this man, Nanton? Nanton shakes his head. I don't believe so. Was there something you wanted, stranger? That cloak. I've seen it before. You killed that man in the cave. Are you accusing him of something? And Groed looks to Nanton, touching his arm. This is about the accident. We're both grieving Pearlie's loss, but it was a wild animal's doing. Nanton shakes his head. Uh, minutely. Minutely? Or is it minutely? I have no idea. That's minutely. But I don't know what what, what the def definition of something like that would be. How? Anyway, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll this. What would you suggest? What would make you suggest such a thing? I had a vision in the cave. I saw Pearlie's last moments as he lived them. I saw you cut him with the knife. That's that's not possible. Nanton stares at you. How could you possibly know? His hands falls to his sword belt. I left no sign. Nanton, wait. Ingrid raises his hand. 
I don't know what you saw in that cave, but this isn't what you think. Pearly, my husband, he was as much a beast as that bear. I tried to leave the first time I suffered his temper, but he wouldn't have it. She looks away, fresh and pained. Don Tommy, he... We met, and I knew I'd found someone special, someone kind, who cared for me. Please, all we want is to leave this place, to start somewhere else. We... She looks down at the satchels. We've... Leave some coins saved up. You could have it if you'll only let us go. Ooh. Hmm. On one hand, let's say I'm a philosopher who's trying to be good as a death god like. <sighs> Probably understand having a terrible husband, and that's no good. Whether he deserves death for that, that comes down to personal opinion, and I don't think that's in the opinion of Avatar. However, he doesn't see why he should kill these people, or uh, Anton, for his doing, so. However, something does need to be done, I believe that's what he thinks. I don't think this is this choice is going to be ruled out. He's not going to take a bribe. Or, well, if he does, that would then be being uh, paying the price for his, but it would be paying me, and possibly not the gods as what uh, Avatar would want. Although he have a, he's a death god like, but that doesn't mean he's a god. Um. I think he would take it to the Magistrate, who is more like the ruling figure of this place. No. Whatever your reasons, you caused a man's death. I'm taking this to the Magistrate. I don't know what you think you tell the Magistrate. A story about a dream you had? Nantan sneers. You won't take this from us. Not when you're so close. And not for that wretched Perry early. Uh, he's just going to draw his blade. Hmm? Now, then, in this case, yes. he's just giving me no choice. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to shoot him though. Oh wow, I actually gained a lot of experience from that. <sighs> it's a shame. Vax is collected. What? Vax is collected, lost. Okay. Earned that much. Earned taxes from who? Ring of minor, minor ring of deflection. Cool, I'll take that. The rest can just go to stash. Or deflection. Does that go to myself or? Whoa, you know what? I think he can take it because he has very, very little deflection. Wonder. Oh, hey, we can actually enchant some of our stuff now. Excellent. Uh, of might. Huh. That's one. What would that bring his might up to? Nineteen. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't know about enchanting. That, that, uh, I'd probably prefer to enchant mine. Fine. Would like that. With 
might or of intellect? We do both? No, because we don't have enough bloodstones. What are my stats? I think we will do intellect. I'm actually really low on intellect. But my stats are kind of all over the board, very evenly spread out. Okay, I will go with intellect. Okay. Cool. Hmm? What's this? The Deerwood. Part 2, The Broken Stone War. Interesting. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Wonder where we find the other companions. I think that's probably one of the main things that you got got to figure out at first is where you get your other companions. Because you know I'm stuck with uh, these two guys, pre or custom made. Because I don't know where the rest of the companions are, and I'd rather have a full party early on. We know there's more grain in there, Trumbull. We won't settle for scraps while you grow fat on our crops. A muffled shouting emerges from his mouth. The first of you drunkards comes through that door gets a shot between the eyes. Gods hear me, Swainer. I'll put you down like a dog. Come away for now, lads. We'll be back, Trumbull. We'll have fair prices, or by the flame we'll have a reckoning. Okay, then. What's going on in here? That affects all damage and healing. Yep. An elven man stands before you, his relatively stocky build suggesting a life of labor. His face is pale and drawn, his eyes wide. Behind him, a younger man and woman exchange worried glances. The miller raises a club as you enter it. It shakes violently in his grip. Get back if you value your life. Hold on. Not here to hurt anyone. Miller hesitates and lowers the club. Wait, I know you. You just came into town, right? Don't tell me Swainer's already got his claws into you. God, that's all I need. Thought you could use some help. Those people out there seem pretty angry. Really? Trumbull sighs with relief. Could use a friendly face. Or could I use a friendly face? <laughs> I take it you heard some part of what that crowd's asking for. Green, as if I've got it all tucked away somewhere. swainer has been egging that lot on for days now. They've been keeping clear so far, but if things keep on like they are, I don't know how much longer we've got before things get messy. Please, if you're not here on his behalf, maybe you could speak to Swainer. He won't listen to me anymore. Just explain that we're all getting smaller rations now. We're all making sacrifices. I will see what I can do. Grateful if you did. He won't listen to me anymore, but maybe you'll have better luck. Tell him we're all having a hard time of it. We'll all have to make some sacrifices. Rational one. Look around town so you're the sensible sort. Even Swainer can appreciate that. You convince him. I'll be in your debt for it. Cool. There's a rational uh, thingy there. I guess I'm getting a reputation for being rational. Rational, honest, benevolent. And diplomatic. Those are the four ones that I'm trying to kind of go for a reputation for. Probably more diplomatic than honest. I'm not really sure. Actually, I wonder if we can actually see our uh, most crits is myself, most hits is Claren, most damage taken is him, and most times knocked out. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have that much deflection. He needs more deflection. I guess that's what being a barbarian is all about. Personal. Ah, my reputation's benevolent, diplomatic, passionate, rational, and honest. Yeah, I think it all depends on the situation, but yeah, those five actually are pretty good. If I were to remove one, it would probably be. Uh, I don't know. You know, all of these kind of apply to Avatar in some way. 
It all depends on what he's trying to do. Reputation is Gilded the Veil ally, faintly good. Interesting. Let's go down this way. No, I actually wonder. Uh, oh, wrong tab. Uh, journal biography. Let's actually go through the biography because it seems pretty <coughs> extensive now. Abstract thinking, the clash of ideals, notions of good and evil, right and wrong, and the pursuit of ultimate truth. These are the things that have always made your blood flow with, and your mind race. So much so that you've arranged your life such that you can while away your hours contemplating elusive answers and challenging accepted beliefs. In your homeland, Examital Plains, your love of ethics and morality became the focus of your intellectual endeavors and you sought to find the right path in life through reason alone. But as you found yourself drawn ever deeper into philosophical debates and academic conjecture, conjunct, conjectures, you realized that nothing you studied could actually be proved. When you get to Gilded Vale, you expect to waste no time getting into trouble there. You fell ill traveling with a caravan bound for Gilded Vale. The caravan master sent you off with one of his guides, Kalisha, in search of a remedy. While out searching for the remedy, you were ambushed and returned to your camp to find it slaughtered at the hands of angry locals. You dealt with them, only to be to be nearly killed by a wind that threatened to shear your soul from your body. You escaped with Hayoden and Kalisha into an ancient into an ancient ruin. You emerged from the ruin to find a strange ritual being performed at some kind of ancient machine. There was a man who commanded others, there who commanded others, but there was something oddly familiar about him. As he left. The machine began to spin, generating some kind of energy, and there was a blast that felt like a windstorm you had encountered, like, like windstorm you had encountered earlier. It turned the others who had been with him to ash, and neither Hayoda nor Kalisha survived. You were knocked, un you were knocked unconscious by the blast, and when you came to, you felt odd. You were seeing things, hearing things. You, depart you departed the ruins, attempting to, start to reach Gilded Vale on foot, where hopefully you would be able to find someone who could cure you. Where you arrived in Gilded Vale, you found that the town was not the growing, prosperous settlement you had been told it was. Instead, you found a dying town at the mercy of a phenomenon called Wadewind's Legacy, and received a cold welcome from the town magistrate. Your prospects of settling in Gilded Vale looked bleaker as it was, but they may have been totally dashed when the tolling bells of Radrick's Hold announced that their master child had not been born in good health. The magistrate advised you to rest at an inn. You helped an eight an a deer wizard named Aloth out of a scrape with the locals of Guild Vale. He was understandably grateful to find company for the road. When you tried to sleep it was restless while well, encroaching whispers and you experienced a vivid nightmare. You saw an old dwarf woman hanging from a tree in the center of Guild Vale. She said a single word Watcher. You approached the hanged dwarf woman from your dreams and found that through some means you were able to converse with her. You learned that you are a watcher, perhaps as a result of your rush with the death at the ruins, and that this has given you some kind of otherworldly vision. Though the dwarf was able to tell you a few details, the dwarf was able to tell you a few details, not a few, a few details, okay. She advised you to speak to an old watcher named Merwold, who is master of a keep in the area and might be able to help. In Gilded Vale, you met Eater, a local farmer and followers of and follower of Aethys. His, his family's faith and his brother's role in the Saints' War had earned him the suspicion of the local authorities, so you decided to make your way out of town together. When you reached Kadnoa, you met a Raotai scholar named Kana Rua. 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 I don't know. He joined you in hopes of finding an ancient and sacred text buried beneath the keep. You arrived at Cadnoa to find the place haunted by hostile spirits. Its master's whereabouts unknown to the steward who watches over the keep. Merwald was at the dungeons. Yeah, okay. So this is basically all the stuff that we've done, so it's just kind of recording everything. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're not going to really read them anymore. We already know everything there, for the most part, so... Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that much longer. actually didn't set my stopwatch, so I don't know how long this is. I imagine we've 
only been going for maybe 15 minutes or so. Hopefully I'm right. There's Swainer. Good day to you. Don't know who you are and don't much care. Keep walking. We're not here to chat with foreigners. Alf narrows his eyes. Careful. Looks like they, they're cut from the same cloth as those rowdies who attacked me. He wrinkles his nose. Smells like it too. Tremble says you've been threatening his family. Oh, I bet he has. All nobility, that Tremble. Two big, strong kids. Pure soul and all gilded veil. Thorpe sneers. Coward sending out messengers to handle his business. Well, you can go tell him we haven't had a sold meal in days on account of him. And we can't afford the good drink on account of him. But we don't... But we won't be bullied by some foreigner on account of him. I don't have either of the grounds here. Interesting. What if I buy you all around? Talk to me then. Swainer considers it briefly. He looks to the others. Fair enough. You bring us something to wet our throats. And might be all feed that feel up to trading words. Okay then. Well met, friend. I'd like to buy around for the fine fellows over there. Fine fellows? You have me on. Any more fighting and I'll have to ban Swainer from the inn entirely if the innkeeper frowns. Until then, it's six copper pieces for the lot. You are. I don't give a crap about my money right now. Alright then. Here, three drinks for three fools. Just take care of them. They're a hot tempered bunch. Hail and well met. You again. What do you want now? Got drinks. Hey, so you have. By the flame, I never, never thought I'd be so happy for a mug of the Black Hound's beer. <laughs> Gods, that's good. Alright then. You've got my attention. What is it you've got to say that's worth a round of drinks? Look, there's no sense in threatening the miller. You have him up against the wall. Maybe you could ask some of the other villagers for help. You're right. Things go on like they are. We're just going to end up hanging from that tree out there. Tell the rumble we'll leave him be. Don't know what we'll do now. With the crops failing, I haven't got another trade to speak of. I think Pasca needs a hand around the end. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Well played. I was having trouble differentiating between accents there, <laughs> if you didn't notice. Trying to get that Scottish accent down. Or was it an Irish? Irish accent. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I have a hard time differentiating. Yeah, let's tell, talk to this guy again. I have received confirmation that Lord Radric's heir was not born well. My lord has issued an injunction on all new homesteads until he can be assured that the village has been cleansed of all Aeothasians and whatever other undesirables that have brought this curse upon his lands. It would be best if you left town as soon as possible. I would suggest returning to your old home. There will be no place for you here. You may stay at the inn until you can make the necessary arrangements, but I would not advise remaining long. I expect Lord Radric will be most thorough in his efforts to purify this place. Goodbye. Then, uh, uh, like we care. <clears throat> Oh, you've done it. Oh, there you are. How do you do? You're back. Have you any had any luck with Swainer? Spoke to Swainer. And what did he say? I convi I've convinced him to leave your family in peace. 
Why, that's... Billy, that's great news. I wasn't sure you'd get through to him. They're out of their minds with drink half the time. I owe you a great, great debt. Here, he pulls the coin purse from his hip and pushes it towards you. Today's earnings show my appreciation. And you can be sure I'll let everyone know what you've done for me. I don't think we'll take it. Keep it. You're having a hard time enough. You're having a hard enough time. Your generous soul, friend. And we'll have to thank have you to thank for making it through the coming year. Safe travels and may you find favor with the gods. Excellent. Now I would go to uh Raedric's hold. Wherever that is. But um I'm hearing that there's people having crashing issues with it. So I'm gonna hold out on that. Um just in case. Um, for now, I think we'll go back to some of these uh, other areas outside of the town. Uh, oh, the eastern one. That's different. A grand's fort. It's like the compass. Ten hours. We'll take a day to get there. How long until our thing is completed? One day and 22 hours, so we've got time. Like a meadow. I want to figure out what this place is. It seems interesting. Some weapon types, such as the... Yes, we know. Stash can now only be accessed by resting. Oh, hello. Two villagers stand by one of the tide pools. They are breathing harshly, clearly winded, and look up nervously as you approach. Welcome. If you're here to fish, as we were a stranger, you'll want to avoid the compass proper. The dwarven woman points to the southeast. Her companion shakes his head. A lot of ships wind up spread across the rocks here, so we didn't think much of the wreckage until we heard something. A terrible noise. I thought, it, I thought maybe it was a survivor, but he wasn't alive. Moving, but not truly alive, she shudders. It was awful. Undead? What do you mean? What did you see? Corpses. Walking corpses. We don't want any part of it, whatever the cause. Might be we can find something in these tide pools, and then we're headed straight home. You said there are a lot of shipwrecks here? Bowman nods. All the time. It's a lovely place, but dangerous as anything to sail. Good fishing most days, she wipes her brow. I think we'll look further up the coast next time. Farewell, then. Good tidings to- Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? Oh my gosh, it's Zarps. Duke, duke, duke. Duke, duke, duke. <laughs> Bam. Well? Curse this! Hmm? Oh no, I think they killed the woman. They did kill the dwarven woman. All right then. Yeah, unfortunately, not that much I could have helped with on her account. This is interesting music. So we can go north, or oh, okay, so we're at the edge. Where does this way go? Doesn't get us anywhere. That's unfortunate. There's no area over here. Lane. Okay, I guess we'll have to start exploring. Actually, that'll probably be the end of this video for now. Um, the next one, we'll explore this area. I just want to make sure I actually get my video timings right. So this one might be a bit short or perfectly fine. I don't know. Either way, yes, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.